The Duchess of Cambridge surprised fans with a beautiful piano performance at her Christmas carol concert. Kate, who has played the piano since she was a child and took comfort in it during the COVID lockdowns, joined singer Tom Walker for a performance of his song for those who can't be here at her royal carols, together at Christmas event. Tom described the Duchess as lovely, kind and warm-hearted and said she smashed her performance, which was broadcast on ITV on Christmas Eve. Speaking about the experience of working with her, he said, it was truly an honor playing alongside the Duchess for royal carols, together at Christmas. Without doubt, it was a once-in-a-lifetime experience. I thought she absolutely smashed the performance, it's not easy to just jump behind a piano with a bunch of musicians you've never played with before and record live takes to camera, but she completely nailed it. She's such a lovely, kind and warm-hearted person and she took the time to thank everyone personally for the opportunity to play together. It was a crazy pinch-yourself kind of day for me, to be in such a beautiful venue playing alongside the Duchess with my band and a string quartet. I certainly won't forget that in a hurry. My mom had a total freak out when she saw it on the telly. I know this song will resonate with a lot of people this Christmas and my heart goes out to anyone raising a glass around the table remembering those who can't be with us. Kate teased her performance in a short Instagram video this morning, leaving fans extremely excited. The Christmas concert, hosted by Kate, was filmed at Westminster Abbey earlier this month. The event pays tribute to the incredible work of individuals and organizations across the UK who have supported their communities through the COVID-19 pandemic. A royal source told, the idea for the performance was the Duchess. She was impressed by Tom when she met him and heard him play Leave a Light on Dash a song about the struggles of those experiencing addiction, an issue which as you know, she is passionate about, at a Forward Trust event in October. He was approached to play at the service, and his Christmas song, For Those Who Can't Be Here, which has such pertinence for so many this year, also struck a chord with the Duchess who came up with the idea of accompanying Tom on the piano. She has played the piano since she was a child. Music was very important to the Duchess during the lockdowns and playing the piano brought great comfort to her. She also recognizes the powerful way in which music brings people together, especially during difficult times. For these reasons, she was keen to be part of Tom's performance in this way. In the other hand, Meghan Markle alleged during the Oprah Winfrey interview Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge had made her cry rather than previous reports had claimed. Podcaster Christine Ross suggested the allegation affected Prince William who suffered when he realized the relationship with his Prince Harry and his wife has fallen apart. The Duchess of Cambridge was really sad to see her husband suffer as it was really difficult to sit on the sidelines for her, Ms. Ross claimed. The royally U.S. host said, a source close to Kate said that she was mostly upset about the situation in terms of the toll it took on William. I think seeing your husband suffer like that, and seeing what used to be such a close loving supportive relationship really fall apart was probably really difficult to sit on the sidelines for her to watch. I think that that must have been incredibly difficult you know to sit there quietly and see the situation unfold as it did. Co-host Christina Garibaldi said, yeah, definitely. I know that they're also reporting this whole situation did bring William and Kate even closer together though so they kind of leaned on each other. Usually, in dark times, that tends to happen. They really got close together. During the sit-down interview with Oprah Winfrey, Meghan alleged Kate made her cry over a disagreement regarding the bridesmaids' dresses in the run-up to the royal wedding in 2018. Addressing reports suggesting she had Kate cry, Meghan said, the reverse happened. And I don't say that to be disparaging to anyone, because it was a really hard week of the wedding, and she was upset about something. But she owned it, and she apologized and she brought me flowers and a note apologizing. I actually think it's, I don't think it's fair to her to get into the details of that because she apologized, she continued and I've forgiven her. I would have never wanted that to come out about her ever, even though it happened. According to a source close to the couple, the Oprah interview's allegations really made Kate upset about it all and she suffered to watch her husband distraught over this ongoing feud. They said, everything with Harry and Meghan has been hugely stressful. But if anything, it's pulled, her and William, closer together. She was upset about it because, William, was so upset. Seeing her husband so distraught was tough. 